That's right, everybody. It is all finished. Had it all painted up, and yes, we have had it out. Did really, really good. That's why I say I'm not a good painter. Got it all painted up. Got the skid plates on. Everything worked really well today. But just so you know, this was not, oh, everything was perfect. I put it together and it just worked perfectly fine. No, I had a lot of issues with control arms hitting each other, not allowing it to flex very well. The pinion gear for the motor onto the transmission was rubbing on the transmission. You know, it just, it's how any of these are when you make one from scratch, you're gonna run into issues, even though you can do everything perfectly. Well, I don't do everything perfectly, but you're gonna run into issues. So I had to do a lot of adjusting, a lot of testing, we took it out and definitely put it through its paces. Now, I don't know if anybody is wondering, but I sort of am. I want to know how much each one of these weighs. Because I have had a few people in the comments asking, how much does something like this weigh? Or that looks like it's going to be heavy. It may shock you. And what I mean by it may shock you... I mean, I'm going to be shocked as well, because I haven't weighed any of these either. So, get my super fancy scale out. I'll start with the one that everybody here watched me build. Nine pounds, pretty much even. So, the new one with the battery, everything that's in there, is nine pounds. So let's see what that one weighs. All right, I don't know if that's super visible other than my head. Eight pounds, 2.3 ounces. I know for a fact, just by picking all of these up, that's the lightest one. Okay, that's that one. Let's do the Jeep. This one does have a battery in it as well. All of them will have batteries. 10 pounds, 6.3 ounces. That's a pretty heavy truck, but guarantee it's not the heaviest. That one way. You're closest. Okay. I don't feel like taking it apart to put the battery in it, so... There. There's the battery. This one weighs 9 pounds, 10.6 ounces. That one's pretty heavy. Of course, it's lighter than that one. Now the favorite one. Let's see what that one weighs. Filming here. <sighs> All right, same deal. Don't feel like taking it apart. Twelve pounds, four point three ounces. Genuinely lighter than I thought it would be, because that one seems the heaviest out of all of them when you pick them up. Interesting. I think we need to weld some more stuff on it, make it heavier. I know if I did that, that would make so many people happy. Just purposely weld stuff onto my RCs to make them heavier for no reason at all. I think it'd be funny. This is what was my RTR Bronco. Has been heavily modified, steel bumper, Upgraded almost everything. 
steel axles. I'm not gonna say that this is a fair weight for an RTR because I've upgraded this thing a lot. So, and oh, same thing, 11 pounds, 12.5 ounces. Yeah, I've added some weight to that. Genuinely shocked that this isn't much lighter than that thing. But lots of accessories. Now, the tow truck. Same principle, batteries on the top. Now this one is heavy. Like I have plates that are just welded together in here just so I can get some extra weight on the front end of this thing. 17 pounds, 10 and a half ounces. Now that's heavy. Now just because we can, we can drop a battery on the ground. And I'm curious as well. Battery up. I have to move a few things. Zero it out. So there's the trailer on the scale. 15 pounds, 10 and a half ounces. So between the trailer tow truck 31 pounds it's 31 pounds driving around now if I had the other ones which I actually have done the math on it because it's simple addition so I'm capable of that so when that is towing that with that truck and the new truck comes out to 50 pounds that little motor inside of that thing which is the same motor that's inside of that one it's pulling around 50 pounds worth of RCs that's awesome it's me from the future I forgot to tell you that according to Google a stock TRX4 Bronco the one that I have is around seven and a half pounds or so and that's all the plastic parts but that's not fully optioned out like mine was mine is incredibly heavy because I have a light kit metal axles all that stuff all the accessories so the fact that that one came stock or out of the box was about seven and a half call it eight pounds and it's now 11 pounds that just goes to show you how much weight all the accessories add to those things just wanted to inform you before i while i was working on this one you know precisely They were in my way. So most of the ones out of the boxes, the RTRs, they're usually, from what I've read so far, they're usually around six to eight pounds on average. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. So the fact that mine are only a couple pounds heavier, that's fine. We also have weight savings right here. So in case anybody was wondering how much all these weigh, you now know exactly how much all these weigh, especially the ones that I just weld my own frames together. That one is lighter because it is a piece together. That one's heavier than that one, even though they're on the same frame, mainly because that has bigger axles, as you can see, significantly bigger axles on it. And it's got a hard body. That's just a Lexan body. Still shocked at that one. I'm gonna weld more stuff onto it, make it heavier. I don't know what, but I'll find something to do to it. Now the new one, next video will be when me and my wife took it out and had some fun with it. already seen a few clips but I'll do a longer video of this one and that one out playing 
And for everybody who is wondering why I try to make them so heavy, you'll see in the video why I want them heavier. Also had some fun with my friend's vinyl sticker maker. It's not perfect, but I think it's really cool. Ignore that. Genuinely wasn't me. You'll see. Just wanted to say again, thank you everybody so much for who have watched these videos, subscribed, commented. I love the positivity. I love everything that everybody's saying. It is so much fun for me and it's even more fun knowing that there's more people like me out there in the world that do these kinds of things with these trucks. So from here at Waffles RC, cheesy, I know. Anyhow, bye guys. There's a reason for this, I promise.